All right, guys, the time has finally come. I'm going to replace my steelies on my RTV uh, Falcon Ute. It's a 2006 BA Series 2. Um, it came out with steelies after the BA had the nice alloy mags. Um, I always liked the alloy mags, but obviously when I bought the later model, it didn't have the alloy mags, it had the steelies. So I've been driving around on them, obviously, for a long time. Um, I tried to buy a second-hand set of uh, Alloys RTV wheels. Very hard to get. If ever, uh, early in the piece, if they ever came up, they went like a hot cake. It's like I tried to get them from Victoria, all places. You know, you dip out in five minutes, so really hot item. Uh, for guys who obviously, like myself, wanted to run the mags rather than the steelies, took me 11 years to get a set. 11 years. Now, the, 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 the um, tread on the tyres I had on the car at the time was very good, so I wasn't going to just swap them over and, uh, and forget the uh, usage I'd get out of the tread on the tyres already on the car. So I've had, an, had the uh, alloys in the shed for about two years, waiting for the tyres to get to the stage where they need replacing. That has come. Now, when I got the... Uh, alloy wheels second hand the guy gave me these four discs and I actually said to him what are they because I hadn't seen them before he said well he said well apparently they are they're dust covers for the mags so you put these on first then you put your mags on and screw them up of course but that's your idea they they're supposed to stop the dust coming out from the dust from the disc brake pads uh, to go onto the wheels, which I've led to believe. A lot of guys take these off. They say they're useless. Um, they, you know, the wheels breathe a bit better with them off. Then you've got another side of people who say, no, they're good, they protect. Of course, it's an off-road vehicle. Guys who do off-road stops, rocks and pebbles, getting into the brake area. Uh, that makes a lot of sense to me too. Some people say they're a bit ugly, um, <laughs> so it's a bit of half and half of what people say they do with them. Um, and it's funny, as soon as I mentioned I was going to put the, the alloys on, someone wanted to buy me steelies in. You know, they, it seems the other way around. Guys who had the alloys want the steelies, and the guys who had the steelies want the alloys, but I'm not selling the steelies, they're part of the original car, and that's the way I view it. So I'll, I'll have both, I've got both. Um, so, and I noticed uh, another guy, he painted his, not just, a, they're all black apparently, but another guy painted his to match the colour of his car, and I thought, well, that's a unique idea. So I'm going to try that and see what it looks like. If it looks like, you know, doesn't look good, I'll just paint it black, because I know black will go for a red car, that's for sure. But I thought, I wonder what if a red disc would look like behind the mag on a red car. That might be pretty swoofy too. So today I'm just going to paint two of them differently. I'm going to paint this one. The, I, I have rust path these way longer than they needed to be to try and get it. Like, had little, this is the worst one. It's got these, um, and this has been ground with a steel cordless and everything, and that's the best I can get it. So you can still see a little bit of rust, but that's the worst one. The other's a lot better. So I'm just going to do two to see where we what we look like. I'm going to use uh, engine enamel because it's heat proof up to 550 degrees Fahrenheit because it can get hot. I don't know what if they used heat proof paint on it originally. They probably didn't. It's probably not necessary, but I've got it here and I don't have to go and buy more paint, obviously. So why not? So we're going to give this a go. Okay, so that's a black one done. And like I said, I'm going to do the red one. One red, because the car's red. We're going to see how that looks. Should get it, move it away a little bit uh, so we don't get any overspray on this one, hopefully.
Right, oh, it's drying very quickly, isn't it? So we have one black one, and we have one a red one. And I'm going to see uh, how that looks behind the wag, the mag wheels when I put them on. And if I like the red, I'll paint them all red, obviously. And if I like the black, I'll, I'll um, paint the rest of them black. And see, we'll, I mean, black and chrome always can't beat it, but uh, there's no harm in just seeing what one looks like. You get a good idea. Good then.